he's able to like incorporate some advanced strategies, right? But True. He's not taking the time to <laughs> practice, <laughs> right? He gets like 30 seconds between each game to practice <laughs> a combo. He does. His chat room's moving so fast that good advice is like a fucking diamond in the roughest rough I've so ever true. seen. Dude, what is up with all these esports streamers? They're taking interest in the only the best fighting game there is. You know, I want to say they have good taste, right? But, man, are you looking at these character choices? Moon Moon plays Xiao Yu. <laughs> Soda you. Poppin' is a law player. And 444-san is a Katarina player. Why are people whining about Katarina's 444? Just block. Just don't, just don't press any, any buttons on your fucking pad. I mean, next thing you know, we're gonna get bare... Look, look, Dr. Disrespect's gonna be a panda player. <laughs> Thank right? you. Jesus Christ. How are they picking these characters? Anyway, you know, that's only my personal opinion. They can pick whoever they like. Someone's got to pick those characters, right? You know, after watching the three of them play, Forsen is definitely the best, right? And he's able to, like, incorporate some advanced strategies, right? Like, he knows to low parry a low when he <laughs> yeah, sees it you. coming, right? And the idea, and he does a complete low parry combo. It's like way more advanced than the other two, right? But he's not taking the time to practice, right? He gets like 30 seconds between each game to practice a combo. He does, his chat room's moving so fast that good advice is like a fucking diamond in the roughest rough. I've ever seen, right? So, he's, it's like, you know, he's advanced, on, like, mentally, he's advanced, he's applying strategies, and he's, like, making intelligent moves, right? Not that I'm saying that Moon Moon isn't, but I'm saying that Moon Moon isn't, right? Forsen is, clearly, right? <laughs> but, thank you. He's just not practicing. You gotta practice. This isn't some kid's game, dude. This is the type of game, because he's trying to transition into Harrier, right? So he's doing a hop kick, and then he's like, okay, how do <laughs> I you. go into Harrier off of this mid? The chat room's like, you hold forward. And he's like, well, what do you mean by hold forward? And the chat room's full of, like, just crazy shit, right? So this is not a learning environment, obviously. This is like a kindergarten, right? Just crazy, like in the movie, kindergarten cop, right? It's just insanity. There's... Just uncontrollable insanity. And in the middle of that, you got someone taking an SAT test, you know, in the middle of that. So it's not exactly a good learning environment, right? But, you know, he's definitely applying strategies and like, I don't know. I mean, it's cool that they're playing Tekken. It's a good game. Oh, man, it's cool that they're not playing Street Fighter. That's the cool part because... You know, a lot of people are going to take no notice of fighting games just from this. Just because Forsen and Moon Moon and Soda Poppin are playing fighting games, a lot of people will pay attention to fighting games because of this. But they're going to pay attention specifically to this one because it's the one that introduced them. So it's a really cool uh, thing. It really is. It's pretty neat. Even if they do, they're noobs, right? But it's pretty cool that they're doing that. Because, I mean, I, as far as I know, they're not being paid to. And that's kind of the type of thing that streamers like them typically are paid to do. So, that's cool. That's sick. It's a good game. I'm not surprised. Play with Forsen, capital letters. Hey, is Forsen in Germany? Is he German? Where does he live? Thank Sweden. You. Oh, all right. Well, that's pretty far from where I live. I live in Los Angeles. So. <laughs> Thank you. No. Oh, you know, another thing I noticed about Forsen <laughs> is you. he's pretty good at, even though he got mad a lot, it, he's pretty good at, like, not 
He loses, and then he thinks about it, right, in a way that's at least productive. He did get mad, but everyone would get mad. I get mad, and there's no way you could be a human and not be mad, <laughs> yeah, thank right? You. But at least he's, even if he's wrong, right? Because of course he's going to be wrong, and his chat room's full of kindergartners. So it's not like, it's, the, the point isn't that he's right or wrong. The point is when he loses, he says something, and it's not stupid. It's like, oh, so that's a low, and next time I'm going to try to low parry it, or something productive. He doesn't say some shit like, you know, I don't know what the hell he would say, right? Something about, I should have, uh, you know, gone face with my Protoss Zerg tank. I'm new, okay? I don't really know how things go around there, but uh, he's got some good, he's got a good learning attitude, I think. I've noticed. But uh, not the whole time, of course. The whole time, it's not possible because you get pissed. I think him picking Katarina to start out was a good move for him. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't Thank matter. You. It doesn't matter. I would suggest on the topic of Force N, I would suggest that he take at least a day or two to refine some strategies in-game. Learn how the character works. Learn the risk and reward. Learn the risk and reward involved in some of his decisions. You know, and that'll go a long way. Just one or two days of research and practice will take the skills that he has now, and it'll go such a long way. He is already good. He's actually better than he knows. Like, he doesn't even realize how much better he could do if he just takes the time to learn a couple of combos, and understand the risk and reward of at least his own moves. That's it. That will go a long way. And then, once he gets a good grasp of that, he can start understanding the risk and reward of the other opponent's character, whichever one he dislikes the most. But, he's already more advanced than his performance is showing. Because he's doing things and making good <laughs> choices. You. And, you know, he's defensive. He understands the concept of taking turns. But when he hits them, it's like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Go back. Send it back to the, the chef. I didn't order it like that. So all he needs to do is one day or two days tops. Take the time in practice mode and just understand the risk and reward and polish up some of the transitions like you can't practice a combo in 30 seconds between an online match no that will never work you have to take the time it's like an instrument he's already performing he just started playing the skin guitar right the armenian skin guitar he just started playing it Right? He's already doing a concert for 20,000 people. So he has to entertain them. He's doing solos and shit, right? But if he would just take a little bit of time, he could be Johnny Hendrix. You know what I mean? And he's got plenty of stoners. So, I'm just saying. I ain't saying he's a prodigy, I'm just saying he's a thousand times better than Moon Moon. Moon Moon! This guy... <laughs> the way Moon Moon plays is like, oh man. He's, he's pissing me off. You know? Like, co consistently ignoring what he's seeing. And forcing it. Forcing it, you know? Like, ignoring what he's seeing and just forcing it. That's his style. I like that. Persistence wears down resistance. And you know, I like his style. But, you know, we'll talk about Moon Moon on another day. Oh yeah, that low parry combo is what I was messing with. I want to hammer this in. Before I got distracted. I gotta get used to it. I'm having trouble figuring out what the best damage follow-up for hitting Sergei's Rage Drive on semi-ground is. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Cut that bitch 
shut the fuck up. See what I mean, dude? Like, how is 4 Sen, 444 Sen, supposed to learn <laughs> in that you. kindergarten cop environment? When I'm over here, I got only, like, you know, however many people watching me, I can't even fucking focus. How is he supposed to learn in that environment? It's outrageous. And he's got 30 seconds to learn, too. It's like he fights a match, you know, and things go pretty well, and sometimes he wins and loses, whatever. But then he's got 30 seconds to practice, and the chat room's just going ape shit, swinging from the ceiling fan, just like outrageous, climbing up the walls. And he's just like, hey, uh, does anybody know, you know, in this, in this room full of insanity, he's like, does anybody know how you transition into Harrier? Like, well, no shit, he's not learning, <laughs> you know, or going slow. He could advance a lot faster. I wonder if he practices off stream. I doubt it, but maybe. Hey, you 444 Sen fans, go back over there. I understand he tried to host me, but he executed the command in the chat room. He had an input error with the command, but it's the thought that counts. Either way, go back over there, tell him I said thanks, and uh, you know, tell him he's better than Moon Moon.